With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's solve the question. The question says, a voltmeter of resistance 400 ohm is used to measure the potential difference across the 100 ohm resistor in the circuit shown in figure A. What will be the reading of the voltmeter and what was the potential difference across 100 ohm before the voltmeter was connected? So what is given to us that there is, there is volt, voltmeter connected across this 100 ohm resistance and this voltmeter has 400 ohm resistance okay so first let's calculate what will be the effective resistance of whole circuit so we can draw this circuit as it is our battery which has 84 volt emf there is 100 ohm connected here and there is 400 ohm in parallel combination with 100 ohm it is 400 ohm and there is 200 ohm resistor now we can easily solve the effective resistance of the whole circuit so effective resistance of whole circuit will be 100 multiplied by 400 divided by 100 plus 400 because this 100 and 400 resistors are in parallel combination so we have solved for this parallel combination and plus 200 because these two resistors are in series combination with 200 resistor so after solving this we will get our final value of r effective which will be 280 ohm now we can calculate current flowing through the circuit so current will be v divided by r effective what is the value of voltage it is 84 volt 84 divided by 280 so it will give us 0.3 ampere so it is the value of current so the current is flowing from the battery so it is the current it is 0.3 ampere now let's suppose that this current get distributed among these two resistors 100 ohm and 400 ohm let's suppose that current flowing through the 100 ohm is i1 so current flowing through the 400 ohm will be 0.3 minus i1 so let's solve this we want to apply the loops law for this circuit and we will go in clockwise direction so let's put the points value p q r and s so we want to apply loops law for pqrs circuit so loops law pqrs circuit so our pqrs circuit is it is 100 ohm resistor it is 400 ohm resistor is this and current flowing through this branch p it is p it is q it is r and it is s current flowing across pr branch is i1 and this will be 0 0.3 minus i1 so we can we know that these two resistors are in parallel combination and we are applying loops low here so we can write it as as we go across 100 ohm resistance the potential drops so we will write i1 multiplied by 100 and then we go across the rq rq branch then we can write it as minus 0.3 minus i1 bracket by multiplied by 400 equals to 0 so addition of these two must be 0 so from here we can calculate value of i1 so it will give us 100 i1 minus 12 plus 400 i1 
so from this equation we can get values of i1 so i1 will be 12 divided by 500 so it will give us our final answer which is 0.24 ampere so it is the current i1 which is flowing through the 100 ohm so current flowing through voltmeter will be so what is the voltmeter reading it will be the current flowing through the so current flowing through the voltmeter will be 0.3 minus i1 so what is the voltmeter reading so voltmeter reading will be the potential drop across qr branch so what will be the voltmeter reading so part a voltmeter reading it will be potential drop across 100 ohm branch so potential drop will be v is equal to i into r so i1 multiplied by r r is 100 ohm so you can calculate it so it will be 0.24 multiplied by 100 it will give us 24 volt so now b part so now we want to calculate b part so what is in b part so what is the potential difference across 100 ohm before the voltmeter was connected so before voltmeter was connected there was only two resistance so it is our circuit it is our 84 volt cell it is our 100 volt 100 ohm resistance and there is two hundred ohm resistance. It is two hundred ohm resistance. So this will be the case when there was no voltmeter voltmeter attached to the hundred ohm. So in that case, net effective resistance will be hundred plus two hundred. It will give us three hundred ohm. So now what will be the current? So current will be V divided by R effective. So what will it give us? So we can put value of V which is 84 divided by 300. So it will give us our final answer. So our final answer is 0.28 ampere which is the current flowing through the circuit. So we want to calculate the potential drop across the 100 ohm. So our final answer potential drop across 100 ohm will be I into 100 ohm. So we have calculated I value. So we can put here 0 0.28. It is 0 0.28 multiplied by 100. It will give us 28 volt. So this will be our final answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.